Those impacted by caste discrimination sharing their pain and suffering with others Saturday. South Asia is a place where a lot of caste-based uh, violence, a lot of caste-based discrimination continues to persist. So as those communities continue to grow in Canada, we find that a lot of those prejudices uh, are actually taking root here as well. Caste oppression originates from a form of social hierarchy in India that is passed down through families. At the bottom of the hierarchy system is the group known as Dalits or untouchables. Organizers say despite being banned in 1948, it still affects the livelihoods and well-being of thousands of Canadians. Being made the target of derogatory remarks on a daily basis, being excluded from meetings, all the way to being denied raises and promotions, which is you know, a really serious issue. Pardeep Bain says he witnessed caste discrimination about a year ago at a market in Surrey. He very lowly, like a chamari chamari. So these uh, sick men were um, targeting that young woman, the worker, with uh, terrible slurs. The same derogatory slurs used against a taxi driver in 2018. The man was verbally and physically assaulted at a work party. Two weeks ago, he was awarded more than $9,000 after the BC Human Rights Tribunal determined he had been discriminated against based on his ancestry, place of origin, religion and race. Bain says when he called police to report the incident... The policewoman said that you can take my badge number, however, I'm really I'm unable to help you because there is no law that prohibits this kind of discrimination. In February, Seattle became the first U.S. jurisdiction to ban caste-based discrimination. A week later, the Toronto District School Board made the unprecedented decision to recognize and address discrimination based on the caste system. Now British Columbians are pressing for similar recognition in this province. Possibly the most straightforward evidence that casteist ideas exist in British Columbia is the so-called honor killing of Jassi Kaur Sidhu, a 25-year-old Vancouver woman who was assassinated in 2000 on the orders of her parents because of her marriage to a quote-unquote lower caste man. She hopes to collect thousands of signatures demanding policy change before sitting down with BC leaders to discuss the next steps. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Surrey.